Hey guys, my name is George and welcome to this new Ruby tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to learn how to read a text file uh, using the Ruby programming language. Now for that all you need is obviously a Ruby script, Ruby installed and a text file. So my text file is over here as you can see. It's called text.text, .text. it's pretty redundant over there. And it only have uh, these two lines over here. This is a text file printed using the Ruby programming language. Now, uh, for printing this uh, text, uh, what we need to do is that we need to create a script. I already have uh, this script over here, which is the same I've been using um, in other tutorials. It's called input.rb. And the first thing that you want to do in this uh, script is that you need to save uh, the file name. Uh, and so you can then open this file. So how are we going to get this file name? Uh, so I'm going to write a variable called file. Um, uh, the way I'm going to get the file is by using the R, the, the arguments. Um, I'm going to get uh, the first argument as the name of the file. So this is how we can do it. This is one way to do it. Um, uh, after we got that, you can print the name of the file so you can be sure what uh, which file you're opening. So you can write in, for example, opening file, and I will I will show the name of the file over here. Okay. And now, after you show the name of the file, you might wanna read the file now. For doing this, you need to do uh, as the following. For example, uh, you can just use um, one object in Ruby, which is called file. Now, file is an object that is um, basically uh, the object that you use to access files, to read them, to write them. So, we're going to use file dot open so we can open the file and we're going to put in here the file which is uh, the file name okay so this is how we can open the file and we can save this file in a variable for example we can save it in a variable called um, my file over there as you can see and after that you can uh, you can actually read the content and print it on the terminal. For example, you can write in put my file dot read, and read is basically a function uh, which is going to uh, get the content from inside this file. Now, uh, if I save this program and I run it on the terminal, I will get uh, the following. I will use Ruby then input dot rb, which is the name of my file. Uh, of my script, sorry, and after that I will just type in the name of my file, which is the one you can see over over there, okay? Which is this one over here. I'm going to run the script, and you can see opening file text dot text, and you can see this is a text file printed using the Ruby programming language. So this is, I guess, the simplest way of uh, printing or reading a a text file. Now for this simple script you don't need uh, to do something more complex I guess uh, this is uh, pretty enough so you can get to know a little bit more about Ruby and also you need to remember that uh, you can also save this um, uh, file text inside a variable for example you can also save it in a variable just uh, something over here and you can then print that variable just like that okay and you can run the script and you will get the same result by using uh, the the variable as a container for this uh, data okay so I guess that's all for this tutorial I hope you guys uh, liked it I'm going to make another tutorial when I'm going to uh, do some writing um, files I'm going to write uh, data in, in, the, in the file and I hope uh, you guys might enjoy it. So thank you guys for watching. Click on the like button if you like this video. And leave a comment um, also in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you can also subscribe to my channel. So thanks for watching and see you later. Bye bye.